Hey, hey, I'm Naya. Welcome back to the channel. So today I just want to hold a very quick conversation with you about Colossus. <laughs> so basically in the light of the upcoming ban list, which should probably drop any day now, uh, I figured why not talk about some of the cards that we all as a community like to talk about a whole lot, Colossus being one of them, and how they could work and what could happen to them in the current meta and if it's okay for them to actually return from the ban list or not. Also make sure to let me know down in the comments if there is any argument that I missed, if there is anything else that you might want to add and also what do you truly think. So um, I figured the way we could approach this is just look at the decks, cards and strategies that could hinder Colossus or do, or do not care about him in the current meta. Uh, and also the things that Colossus could hinder or stop or hurt. And then I guess we can just compare. When it comes to this meta in particular, um, at first glance, I feel like it's not that horrible for Colossus to come back simply because there are so many cards and ways to out him. And at first, you know, a couple things came to mind, but then I sat down, I made my notes, my, my trusty notes <laughs> that I like to have. Um, and I realized that there are so many cards that simply do not care about Colossus at all. Okay, so first I would just like to quickly go over versions of Thunder Dragon that could be played actually. So you have a very pure version, which I love the most, and it's kind of basic. It's like, I guess in the sense of a 40 card list with melodies and levianiers and just you know a couple floodgates very just thunder engine oriented um but i realized with only one colossus they, this could just not work at all so how to develop this in a sense that would actually fit in this current meta so if you look at the chaos thunder dragon version you know then we're, we're getting somewhere those kinds of decks die to something like dark ruler hard you know just by default without even having colossus in but you have those chaos variants you have you know the light sworn stuff you can you have chaos creator you have just a bunch of stuff that functions all together but without colossus it's just not really reasonable to play this deck because it doesn't have that extra edge that would be very much needed so um, then you look at something like Dragon Link Thunder Dragon and then, then we're, we're getting even further, you know, into the combo stuff and it's like more things are happening. So the deck by itself does a lot more and the end board is good on its own if you look at it. So a card like Colossus would for sure push this kind of deck in a good direction. Mm, but then you need to look at, like I mentioned before, Dark Ruler, you need to look at cards that just completely hinder those kinds of boards and Colossus himself. You know, you have Droplet, which was not out when Colossus was still legal. Dark Ruler was, but you know, you have more cards, you have Chalice, you have Imperm, you have stuff that people just inherently like to run a lot. You know, because it's really needed against decks that are currently popular. So not every single meta, of course, is going to be like this. But if Colossus was to come back right now, you would need to take into account that it's just going to get stopped and outed easily by those cards because Colossus itself was so hard to out back when it was so legal. And right now you have so many outs to it. You know, like legit, we're gonna go over them, but I'm just saying you have a lot more outs to that card. And also decks just do not care about it that much. You have something like Sword Soul, for example. It searches, you know, a couple times, but not that much. And if you make Chao Feng turn off lights, Boxia can get rid of it. It's just um, easier to deal with Colossus in theory. And then you look at something like birds. We're going to the the other part of the spectrum, you know, the cards and the decks that Colossus actually hinders. And birds are interesting just because they search a lot, obviously, and then you have a dry strong in the same realm, you have something like Flunderies, it's not really played a lot, but I guess we can mention it since it is in the current meta. You have things like IDS, Virtual World that searched a bit. Um, but something like Birds in particular, and also Drytron, the funny thing is that th these kinds of decks run Zeus, 
like very easily they can make Zeus and Zeus just blows out Colossus like it's nothing you know it just it just gets rid of it and that's it so um it's it would be interesting to see the dynamic between these two decks and if you look at Colossus again something like Bird something like Joshua that searches a lot but still has Zeus it's very much like die roll dependent very much whether or not you draw droplet dependent so i would not say that this you know banned card coming back will be so bad just because you have so many outs and if we stay on topic of outs you know when i sat down i was like whoa you know you have zooking alpha you have omen banish you have the boxia bounce you have zeus you have a lord like a lord just sends it it's whatever you know and then you know, going for moving forward with something like Phantom Knights and Prank Kids with the addition of the Brave Token stuff, they're going to obviously be played much more. Phantom Knights is good at this point in the meta. You know, it's incredible. And they don't search. They don't search a lot. They don't really care. At this point, you know, just by, by far from what I've said, you can see that almost every single deck, if you look at it, has an out to it. You have cards like, there can be only one. It's run even more because of the meta that we're still in. You have, for example, the Evil Twin Link. Like legit, if you look at decks that are not even that good, I mean, it's, it's a good deck, but like, it's not the, the, the highest tier. Um, you have outs in those decks as well. Um, if you take an IDS deck, for example, if it goes first, establishes Winda, like Thunder Dragon legit cannot do anything. It's like, you know, what are you gonna do against Winda? You, you, all you do is special summon. So if we take a look back from what I said at the beginning of the video, you know, you have, you have different variants of the Thunder Dragon deck that could be played. And then you need to make your decision if Colossus does come back, do you want to run a very combo-oriented deck that could produce an incredible board but die to Dark Ruler, die to something like Winda if you go second because those, card, those decks excuse me, do not run, they cannot afford to run that many hand traps and going second cards just because it's one of those decks that you really need to see your engine and um, since we're talking about it, I guess I could, I could mention it now. Small world. You know, you have interactions between the OG Thunder Dragon and Roar, and then the Collapse Serpent. You have some interactions with Hawk and then Levianir. And even you could tie some connections to Tracer and get to the Dragon Link portion of the deck with Small World. And how cool would it be if Colossus comes back? And like, you know, the player base, some portion of the player base is happy and obviously they can push their product, which is small world. So that's also something to note. So knowing that there is an uninteractive card in the meta scares me a bit, but that's just because I'm not pro cards or effects or things that prevent the other player from, from actually playing. But then looking at how many outs there are, how many just decks, there are that are not really concer concerned with Colossus it just makes me think you know maybe we should just see like legit you know maybe we should just try and see I did not put it on my predictions but thinking about it you know maybe it does come back so yeah I hope this video wasn't too long I just wanted to sort of throw everything out there to get you to think and interact with me and talk to me about what will happen so if I achieve that <laughs> then I'm very grateful and you need to let me know um, that's pretty much it uh, like the video sub check out twitch and I will see you in the next one peace